Hey guys, Guy Smith here, and today we are back in the modded construction world. And, of course, I have added another mod. Well, not technically added. I already had it. I just needed to put it in the mod pack. Well, yeah, mod pack. Um, Thomcraft, guys, Thomcraft. And here's the thing about it. I've already done a bit of exploration and stuff. But the thing is, you have to, even in creative mode, work your way up to it. Which is why I still have to start off with the rather terrible iron capped wooden wand. Um, I made my Thumbonomicon already. Um, I want to go to Aspects of Magic. This is just so awesome. Oh, ah, that's how you make Modus. I needed to make uh, Modus. Need more modus. Um, it was uh, air and ordo. All right. Now, what was I going to grab with the modus? Why do I not remember now? Shoot. <laughs> well. Anyway. I have just all this already discovered, but it's not a lot. I still have a long, long ways to go. Alright, these are all the ores, and since I've already started off with stuff, um, auras and nodes. The aura is a field of magical energy prevalent throughout the world. Its origin is unclear. Some believe it is the accumulated life force of living beings. I'm just going to read through this. While others believe it to merely be another type of energy seeping in from other place. The last theory seems to be most likely, as aura is often found surrounding a node of concentrated magical energy known as an aura node. Mm, makes sense. Each aura node is, has a base amount of magical energy it can contain, and this energy is aligned to one or more aspects. It is usually aligned to primal aspects, but rarely a node may contain compound aspects. The aspects within an aura node can be tapped with a biothematurge, or miracle worker, as I like to be called. I think it's a little bit easier to consider, I mean, say, um, by a magiturge for his own purposes. The simplest way to do this is with the use of a wand. Yes. Energy that has been harvested in this matter is known as vis. Aura nodes are hard to see with the naked eye, but faint glimmers of light often betray their presence. The thermometer makes nodes slightly easier to find, as looking through its lens makes them clearly visible. Important. Caution must be taken when draining a node. There is a small chance that when a specific type of aspect within the node is completely trained, it may disappear or harm the integrity of the node. Oh, so I can't... Well, yeah. I should. I know that I shouldn't fully drain it of every aspect, but I didn't know that you had to watch out for draining just the simple aspect itself. Hmm. That's new. It is possible for the node to disappear completely if all the aspects are used up. I already knew that. Fortunately, most nodes replenish their aspects over time. Nodes react in interesting ways to other nearby nodes, and bigger nodes tend to drain the V out of their smaller neighbors to increase their own girth. Hmm. Which, of course, the smaller neighbors, as it said, might just start to also regenerate and whatnot. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be like a giant chain reaction. Bleh, chain reaction. Um, potency, frugal treasure, haste repair. Hmm, those are new. Cool. The pack. Oh, jeez. Those I'm not gonna be spawning. I I'm on peaceful. The metrogy. Um. Basic wand craft. Great wood wand core. I don't have great wood yet. Uh, want foci, alchemy, bubble, and boil. That looks almost like it says bubble and ball or bowl. Um. <laughs> All 
right, so you put in the stuff. It's not just the shards that you can put in. You can put in various stuff, whatever items you want, and then it's deconstructed into the various elements that it's made up of. That's basically how this works. Ooh. I didn't... Ooh. I am... The church is salt, as it is more commonly known. Salus Mundus. Like mundane kind of Mundus? Hmm. It's crafted by exposing a balanced V shard. Vs. Yeah, Vs. V shard to high enough heat that it shatters into a fine powder. Hmm. Like its mundane counterpart. Hmm. The Metrich's salt adds flavor, metaphorically speaking, to any magic recipe or formula. Hmm. That is... that's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, there is so much stuff to learn. I mean, just look at Golemancy, oh my gosh. And then there's an extension of stuff. Uh, this isn't everything for Golemancy, it expands. You just get a small glimpse of stuff that you can start off with and start learning and just sort of goals, mini goals. Of course, there's still way more that's just hidden for now. <laughs> there is going to be so much to do. Oh my gosh. Thomcraft is as big as witchery in its own way, in its own right. Gosh. Um. All right. Well, it keeps us from cheating per se. So. Um. There aren't going to be any aura nodes around here. I think I'm just going to try spawning one in. I mean, you can spawn one in. Obviously, only in creative mode. Aura node. Yeah. All right. Alright, I got Ordo and Air. Hmm. I need to charge up... Well, wait, no, my wand is fully charged already. Hmm. That's... that's useful. Um... I can just barely see this stuff because it's so bright. Oh my gosh, I can... Oh, it says... Um... 6742. Okay. That's... that's a pretty high energy node. Um, I think this looks kind of weird, but I'll deal with it. I'll make do. Oh, also, I made this using the um, microblock stuff. Oh, I don't have this stuff. I put it in the chest. I'm just going to leave it there. Um, like how I made these covers and stuff, only the slightly bigger stuff. I made... Um, Pebbles. I used the saw to make slabs and then just broke it down into actually like these column rod things that don't fully build an area up and then I just expanded them to a bit to well make it look like this I think it looks really cool anyone who doesn't like it deal with it it's staying <laughs> um So, also I had to move that back in order to make room for this, but I think it looks a little bit better like this. Definitely. It's worth it. Still just not sure what to do with that. It'll stay underwater for a while at least. Um, also, I tried getting biomes aplenty. It was lagging my game way too much. Um, yeah, no, I wasn't... I'm not about to try adding biomes aplenty. Besides... You actually have to regenerate... Well, I tried regenerating this world. Obviously, I'm not going to keep... I wouldn't have been able to keep the house. I would have had to rebuild everything. Um, but sadly, there wasn't exactly a good place to even build it that I could find. And since you need to have a specific world type for Biomes of Plenty to work, I'm not... I can't add it. 
which sucks. Um, I need to have the actual world type, otherwise I'm pretty sure that some of the features will not work. I don't feel like crashing my game just trying to go to the promised land, which is a really, really cool dimension. Um, but, oh well, what can I do? Um, so, what I want to do is, besides the or, or, bleh, or node, um, there are trees that I want to plant. I want to plant some silverwood trees, and let's move this up here because I'm not going to be using it, um, and greatwood trees. And I need... Oh, can't type. Bone meal! Oh, and this is a bone bow, a bow of bone. And ooh, I didn't know there was a bone staff. Hmm. Alright, and silver wood. Can it grow with bone meal? No? Okay. <laughs> and then the great wood tree. Oh boy, I know that the great wood tree is going to be... Ooh, um, let's just take grass. Fill in these holes. I know that the great wood tree is four around. Can it grow with bone meal? Or no? Or is it designed so that it prevents you from cheating? Hmm. Shift click. And let's escape out of that. And let's try game mode zero. I am on peaceful, so it's not like any zombies are gonna... Aw, oh, it doesn't work! No, you can't grow them with bone meal! Dang, I thought I was going to accelerate growth and just have... well... I think they look really nice. Oh well. I'm gonna escape. Uh, game mode one. Oh well. Let's see if they even grow first. Don't want those seeds. Um, and what else was I going to do? Well, I was going to try planting those. Um, okay, I know that there are other plants too. Ooh, I just remembered something. Um, taint. At least I know that I'm in an area that was generated before I got Thumbcraft. So, that means that Taint shouldn't be over here. At least, not for a long, long while. Hopefully, long while. Eey. Okay, um, let's just leave those to grow, I hope. Um, and then, how about I grab scribing tools, and I need... Um, paper, it actually goes through the paper, so I need to click. Alright, Dominomicon. Alright, research expertise. Alright, time to try and solve a puzzle. Our first puzzle. Um, actually, hang on, I need to uh, size up my game window a bit, because things are a little, uh, offset. Yeah, it might cut off the bottom part a bit. Um, actually, there's a tiny little area that I can expand it on the top. The top doesn't matter as much. Um, back to game. Alright. Um, oh, shoot, I'm missing something! <laughs> Dang! Uh, messing with the size of my game window. <laughs> Alright, whatever. I'll just deal with it. Oh, gosh darn it. <laughs> I don't have anything. I mean, everything. I need to... I need to understand more. Um, research expertise. I know that I have... This is census, which is this, and then that is ordo. Um, I've already discovered... Discovered modus. I've discovered iter. Arbor, 
Jella, Mortis, Herba. Well. Nope. Um. Ooh! I discovered. Fems. Hmm. Um. Hunger. Hmm. Um. Ah, oh, I used up my modus. <laughs> Fems. Spiritus, let's try Victus. No. Um Victus Spiritus. Oh, oops. Ah. <laughs> I'm just going through these, aren't I? Darn it. Um <laughs> They're not growing yet. Um, I guess I can. S okay, so here's the thing: my screen recording software is really, really messed up. For some reason, it will not let me pause anymore. Um, because I can pause my recordings and it not completely stop it, and we have to restart. Well that's how it actually is now. For some reason it is not working and at this point this is when it stopped. Um, I'm sorry but that's how it is. This episode has to be cut short. Sadly, um, I apologize. This won't happen again because I figured it out. Sadly only after this happened. Um, I learned from my mistakes. It was, it was bad. So, again, I apologize. The next episode will actually be where I discover it. So, I'm sorry. I hope you enjoyed at least what I had. Please leave likes and subscribe if you are new. But that is all. Thanks for watching. Again, I apologize. Peace.